Okay, Mark, uh, getting started here, congratulations. Uh, a daunting task, obviously. Uh, coming from Michigan State, tell me a little bit about working with Tom Izzo and what are some of the attributes that, that he tried to pass on to, uh, to assistant coaches and obviously to his players. I think coming from that, uh, that coaching tree as an assistant, uh, you have to definitely take ownership in the entire program, mm -hmm. not just basketball. You're talking academics, you're talking about life, you're talking relationships uh, throughout campus and your players. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the biggest things I learned from Coach Izzo is uh, rolling up your sleeves and going to work every day. Mm -hmm. If it's recruiting, if it's basketball, if it's academics, uh, he stresses the importance of having uh, relationships with your team, mm -hmm. uh, with your players, and, and just working hard. Mm -hmm. uh, not taking a day off is no off days. Mm -hmm. It seemed that he tried to emphasize having fun and yet making sure the players were accountable for their actions. Is that accurate? I think you have to, uh, with his philosophy, you know, be positive, uh, be competitive. But at the end of the day, to do that, you want to have some fun too. Mm -hmm. But uh, we want our players very competitive. And at the end of the day, when you're winning games and you're being competitive, you're going to be successful. Mm -hmm. And guys have fun uh, definitely when you win. Mm -hmm. and of course, uh, this program has struggled for, for several years here now and uh, been in a, in a lot of close games and just haven't closed out the deal. And it, how, how do you uh, sort of instill that confidence in your players to come through at crunch time and, and close the deal? You know, to close the deal, you have to close the deal in practices. Uh, if you're going to practice two hours, make sure we go hard for two hours. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we do competitive drills where you're going to have a winner and a loser. Mm -hmm. So when you get into a uh, close ball game, they're going to maybe not had that experience, but they had the experience in practice. Mm -hmm. With such a young team, uh, like I said, practice is going to be very important for this team. But we got to keep things competitive. We have to keep it fresh. Mm -hmm. We have to show them film. And then we're going to close out some ball games. Mm -hmm. Because talking to other uh, coaches in the lead, it hasn't been a, a lack of talent uh, because they're competitive, you know, mm -hmm. they're just as uh, as talented as other teams. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe it's getting a few more fans in here. Maybe it's uh, our guys uh, believing in themselves a little more, and and that's my job to make sure they mm -hmm. they can believe they can win games. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Toller's uh, one of your top returning guys as a senior. Uh, you want him to touch the ball quite a bit, right? Well, I just think with his size and uh, his experience. Uh, when you're 260, 265 down low, and we're going to run a little motion offense, he should touch the ball. Mm -hmm. Your better players should touch the ball. And I think uh, he can uh, draw double teams for different guys. So when you can take shots inside out and uncontested, it's going to make us a better team. And of course, uh, looking at your resume, in addition to working at Michigan State, you were at Central Michigan, so you have some familiarity with the Mid-American Conference, right? Thinking back to this conference, I know uh, every team is competitive. You take the Michigan schools, mm -hmm. and then you have Kent State, Akron, Miami, Ohio. You have veteran coaches that's uh, been experienced, has done it, has been into the NCAA tournament. Uh, uh, you have to uh, definitely have your guys ready to compete because it's no off days in the back. Talk about your staff that you assembled here. Uh, John Borovich uh, comes from uh, uh, Dayton, Ohio. Uh, University of Dayton, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, he played college ball at Central Michigan, so he's uh, very familiar with the, uh, the MAC. Uh, uh, Todd Townsend, a uh, former player at uh, Marquette University, uh, with his experience at the uh, guard and uh, wing position, uh, he's done it. Uh, guys would believe in him. Uh, uh, Lou Dawkins, who played uh, college basketball at the University of Tulsa for Tubby Smith. So I assembled a staff that uh, uh, not have just done it on the basketball court. They have graduated. Uh, they're mentors. Uh, they understand the, the vigors of a uh, college season, the grind of a college season. And guys listen to former players, uh, and they could feed off their energy, and they can give their experience to these younger guys. You've uh, certainly paid your dues as an assistant. What, what does it mean to you to be a head coach uh, at Northern Illinois? You know, it's a lifelong dream. Mm -hmm. uh, when I started coaching back in high school 15 years ago, uh, I always visioned myself being a point guard and being a leader to uh, one day hopefully get the opportunity to be a college coach. And then I just had to put my time in mm -hmm. after 14 years of uh, uh, being at the collegiate level and 10 at Michigan State. I thought... I, uh, I earned my uh, dues, and 
I'm looking forward to this uh, opportunity I have and turning the NIU program around. All right. Well, best of luck to you, Mark. Thank okay, you very thanks. much.